I got another CNC and I need it just like I need another hole in the head. I got this on eBay uh, about a month ago and I had it delivered to my office because I'm out of space in my apartment. It is a uh, level or Levo, I don't know how you pronounce it. And this company is still in business and they make an updated version of this model in Florida. The new one sells for $20,000. Uh, this one was made in the mid 2000s. And I got it on eBay for uh, about $2,000 delivered. It's, it's pretty much exactly what I wanted on the granite epoxy CNC mill I'm designing. It fits on a bench top. It's about 200 pounds, so it can be moved with two people and a hand truck. The table size, it's about 15 inches by 10 inches. And I actually do think that is the travel. I think the format of this machine, the, the table will go completely under the spindle. So I think that is about the travel. I'm not certain. It came with a fourth axis that looks really nice. It's all servo driven. It came with a super nice spindle. I think it's about $5,000 if you were to buy it new. I believe it's an ISO 20 and it has air input. It has an automatic tool changer function. We'll see if we can get that to work. The whole machine is aluminum based uh, with probably some precision milling where it's needed and it's been anodized. Uh, THK, uh, I think these would be American made and, and just pretty high end. Probably has ground ball screws. I'll have to check when I start taking some of it apart. It has the VFD as part of the spindle, Delta VFD. I'm excited because it is it is what I wanted, right? For the granite epoxy mill I'm making. I still want to design that and make it because that's fun to me. But now I have this other project. I think all it needs is a controller. And I don't know if I'll be able to get the spindle to work, but if I don't, I can swap the spindle out with something else. Uh, it doesn't have any feet. I'll have to figure out the, the feet and maybe make a stand for it. It's kind of a neat form factor. It's longer in this direction. If I take a step back, the table moves back and forth. And then this is the Y going this way. So it's almost a router design because it has these uh, uprights here and here. But the stiffness compared to a traditional router, I think is gonna be much stiffer because of how, how small the machine is. So I think this will be great for aluminum, probably some limited steels, probably way better than whatever the take can do that I have now. Uh, and you can tell this is a commercial design machine, you know, it's really designed well. Even the limit switch adjustment, you know, it has a slot here. The ways all have bellows on them that are Velcro. Oh, here you can see the ball screw. Here's the rails. Uh, it looks like they're the 15 millimeter, which is what I was looking to use on my project, 15 millimeter rails drag chains, you know, every, everything is designed in on this machine. I expect nothing to work on it electrically except the servos. Maybe I should abandon the <laughs> granite epoxy build and focus completely on this. I don't know how many machines I have now. I think I have like four or five CNC machines in two different states, in three different locations within those states, and none of them work, including this one. The only one that works is the TAG. I guess I just like CNCs and I like tinkering with them. I guess I'll alternate work between this one and the granite epoxy CNC design. But if this ends up working, it's gonna be a nice machine. And if I get fed up with it and don't wanna finish it, maybe I'll just try to sell it locally and let someone else continue the project. So that's where I am and I'll keep you guys posted. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time.